You enter into a torture chamber. The door to the room is trapped. Pulling the door open releases scything blades located beneath the door. The blades swing out at anyone standing closest to the door, usually the person opening the door. Each blade swings into the square di directly in front of the door. A hidden bolt near the outside edge of the door can be pushed down to keep the blades in place. The trap is reset when the door is closed. This room served as a prison and torture chamber hundreds of years ago, but after the earthquake broke open the tombs, the blindfolded slaves were brought into this room through the secret door, and once the secret door was closed, shown that they were no way out, it had been escaped discovery until now. Ambush. All four of the doors in this area are open. You are assaulted. You are assaulted by trogdolites. Trogdolites ambush you. You are ambushed by eight trogdolites. You slay all eight trogdolites. You enter into trogdolite living quarters. The door to this room, as uh, are all the doors in this area, is open. Several trogdolites lie in fetal position on reed mats, otherwise this room appears to be empty. Before your arrival, there was one trogdolite stationed in the doorway, prepared to move down the hall to do battle. There are a total of six dead trogdolites here, having been arranged in the proper burial position by their cleric. There are no other live trogdolites in the room. You are attacked by seven more trogdolites. Three of them are either women or children. You slay all the trogdolites, gaining more XP. One of them was named Yerkak, and Yerkak was a trogdolite priest. Outer Chamber. This standard secret door is locked with a good lock. Open lock check, DC 30. It's difficult, but if you take 20, and with your skill in open lock, you are able to open the lock of the secret standard door. In the lower left corner of the door, the lock is part of the door and cannot be attacked. You unlock the door with your superior skill. You can pick the lock. A skeletal body falls into the passageway. This is the body of an orc soldier imprisoned in this room by his fellow soldiers when his madness overtook him. Unable to get out, he eventually starved to death. A broken short sword lies next to the secret door, its blade snapped. Magazine. The secret door is trapped to release a, swing, a swinging block that hits anything within the doorway. When the door is pushed open, there are actually two such blocks. One for each side of the door can be pushed in and on, but only one can be triggered at a time due to the construction of the trigger mechanism, which relies on the door opening into the room to operate. The hidden bolt bypass for each block is located just inside the door and using it requires that the door be pushed open slowly in order to access the locking mechanism just inside the door frame. Pushing the door closed resets the trap. Several weapons, as well as barrels and cases, sit in this haphazard fashion within this room. You find treasure. There are two light repeating crossbows here, along with the six loaded uh, magazines. Uh, a small barrel of 100 light crossbow bolts balances in one corner, although there are racks to hold over a score. Hall arms currently, only three spears are here. The cases have all been emptied of their contents. The quad. The four large rooms encompassing a37 to A4D serve as workshops, although most of the tools are gone, having been taken by a number of humanoid races. The large furnaces and tables are still in place. Although empty for the most part, the area currently serves as a resting place for several beasts that enjoy the open space and feel for the former workshops as an excellent place to build a nest. Toolsmith Workshop. The door to this room is open and cured with a metal hook that holds the door in place preventing it from being accidentally closed. Several large workbenches are arranged in haphazard fashion in this room. The five workbenches all show signs of heavy use under their du dust. Various tools lay about the workshop, all of them either broken or in poor repair. Currently, six Fiendish surges rest on the workbenches. You are attacked by six Fiendish surges. You slay six Fiendish surges, gaining XP. Weaponsmith Workshop. The door to this room is open and secured with a metal spike that prevents it from being closed. There are 11 workbenches in the workshop. Destroyed workshop. The door to this room is open and secured with an iron spike that has been driven into the wall to prevent it from being closed. The workbenches in this room have all been destroyed, as has the furnace that sits in the southwestern corner. Whoever cleaned out this room destroyed everything with a sledgehammer, including the furnace. Dire rats attack an undisclosed number. You kill all the die rats, gaining XP.